Welcome back, comic book collectors and enthusiasts. My name is Brandon. You're watching Mon Comics. Please join me for an impromptu final CGC unboxing of the year. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's get right into this. Like I said, this is kind of impromptu. What happened was is I had membership credits from rejoining CGC uh, at certain tiers. If you join, it's like 150 bucks to join that tier, you get it back in credits to grade. And I was uh, due to go on only slabs with Rob's Fat Stack Go Comics and Chris the Comic Vet. So I was like, oh, I could send these in and, you know, the, the modern book that I want to show off would be uh, done, you know, before the end of November because I was going on Thanksgiving weekend. And then I'd fast track the magazine. Well, I just got them back yesterday. Tomorrow's the 17th, so that's almost two months there. What held them up? I'm guessing the magazine because the modern book popped after they finally got it. I did have CCS press these uh, because, like I said, I wanted them back uh, relatively quick. I would regularly spend, send them to my uh, comic uh, presser and cleaner, Jeff, from over at Comic Spa, but I know he's kind of backed up right now. And uh, the modern book I knew had a really good shot at being a 9.8 with a simple press. Uh, the other book, the Vintage Magazine, which I've showed my channel before, um, I knew was right around where it was estimated to be for grade. I'm not sure how much more of a bump Jeff could have obtained for it. Um, so I just kind of rolled the die. So I just thought I'd do an unboxing. Um, it's, like I said, it took me two months. I, it was actually, you know, I, I don't do a lot of volume of unboxings or, or CGC submissions myself. Uh, and the thing is, I, uh, if, if you do more volume, you have a bigger chance for mishaps to happen, right? It's just the odds increase uh, in that favor. This was a, a crazy time, you know, between them getting it on the 17th, you know, and I was very patient up until... I got outside of the fast track time. So if you fast track a magazine, it should be 20 days. And uh, once I hit 30, I called them and I was like, listen, you know, I'm outside the 30 days. They said, no problem. We have no problem, you know, refunding you the fast track fees. Um, and I was cool with that. And uh, then, you know, all of a sudden, a couple of days before they shit, my bank account got hit uh, for an amount that it shouldn't have. So I called them, they had to get a hold of accounting. It was a big mess, but finally it looks like, uh, you know, everything came together and the day I got these, they actually refunded me the amount that I was owed. So was very happy about that. These are books that I was very happy to get back. Um, cause they're just special to me and people will recognize them. So I had a predator number one, uh, from 1989 and I was gifted one by my friend, Steven, who I met on Instagram uh, he goes under Collecto 6, also Steppo is his nickname, if you will. Uh, great guy, uh, incredible wealth of knowledge. He's been collecting for decades, and he surprised me and sent me uh, Predator issues 1 through 4, and I knew that they had a good chance at uh, hitting a high grade, possibly 9.8. So I sent it in, and I sent the 9.6 because, you know, I feel if you're gifted something and you already have it, uh, the right thing to do is to pay it forward. So I sent that to the boys over at the Comic Screen Cancer event to be auctioned off. And uh, I'm, I'm glad they were able to raise some money for that event. And then I sent this in to get uh, graded and uh, my luck uh, paid off. So it is Predator issue one, let me get it out of the bag. In a CGC 9.8 with white pages. Uh, if you watched the video previous to this, uh, you saw that I just got a signed art print of this exact art. Uh, by Chris Warner, who is uh, one of the cover artists. Uh, what a just beautiful, and his actually his signature's right down there. Uh, really happy to have a 9.8, you know. I mean, it's just, it was a beautiful copy. I knew it had a shot. So, Stephen, thank you so much uh, for, for helping me add this to my collection. Um, first appearance of Predator in comics. Got the uh, preview for The Abyss on the back, which is another classic 80 movie. So, yes, this is in the Forever Collection. Uh... Oh, Chris Warner did do the cover alone. Chris Warner and Sam De La Rosa of Venom fame did the uh, interior art. And Mark Verheiden's story. So, uh, yeah, CGC 9.8. Really thrilled to have 
uh, this back in my collection at a 9.8. That's how I was pointing at the Predator mask uh, in the thumbnail because uh, I was really excited to get this back. So uh, go follow Collecto6 on Instagram. If you're not, the gentleman has an, 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 a simply collection second to none. And uh, thanks for gifting this to me, Stephen. This means a lot. Huge connection with my dad. And uh, I feel like it's come full circle. And I have Predator back in my collection in a 9.8. All right, the next book uh, is magazine size. Now everyone said CGC upgraded their magazine holders to be sturdier, you know. I wouldn't know. This is my first experience, no bias. So, wow, it's a huge slab. Uh, what am I talking about? I got, ooh, it's thick. It is sturdy. Savage Tales, number one. First appearance of Man-Thing. So up here, it actually says second Conan comic title, Robert E. Howard adaptation, Origin and First Appearance of Man-Thing, and Kazar Story. So the credited team is Lee, Thomas, and Conway Story, Stanley. John Buscema cover, which is a beautiful painted cover. Uh, Windsor Smith, Romita, Morrow, Colin, and Buscema art. They can't even fit it on there because of the... Uh, um, now this does feel... Graded at a 4.5, which, um, crazy enough, Mark, who sold me this uh, from Collectibles on IG and also sells on whatnot, quoted at a 4.5. So the press, it definitely was. And um, I don't know if it feels loose. It's a thick, thick boy. So there is the magazine holder, and there is a regular CGC case. So I can give you a kind of a side-by-side a -side to show you. I guess the complaints of the uh, previous... Magazine holders were um, too flimsy, too thin, so they beefed them up. And maybe that's what took so long. Maybe they're waiting for materials to come in. They wouldn't give me a straight answer. Just want to make sure. You know, you just want to always check. Quality control at any company is, just, is never perfect. So there is some foxing and stuff to the back that Jeff probably could clean up. So maybe this will be an experiment. In this year, you can see it's dirty. Maybe I send this to Jeff, crack it, have him do his magic and see what we could get this up to. Maybe I'll go to a 5, 5.5. But I'm thrilled to have it back. It is a big boy. It is thick. It just feels like it's... I obviously don't want it to, to come open. But it just it felt... Maybe it's just the book inside. I don't know, but Savage Tales, number one, uh, back home, 4.5. I did read this uh, a few times before I sent it in, so it was a really cool book and uh, really big. Wow, that is just crazy huge. It's going to take up a couple spots on the wall, but very happy to have these back. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Um, these are my last unboxings from my CGC submissions for the year. Um, I've got some more I'm going to send. Jeff from Comic Spa is working on some right now, and I've got some more Predator ones that my friend Steven sent me that I might try to see if they all grade out at a 9.8 because they are all in as good a shape as this. So really happy to have these collections. Guys, if uh, you wouldn't mind, if you're watching, first time, not subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button. I've got some really cool stuff planned for the new year. Uh, we're going to switch up some things a bit, and I want to really make it fun for everyone and hook up some people that have been supporting me. So uh, please hit subscribe, comment. Do you guys... Would you guys like this magazine size? Like, is this okay with you this thick? I mean, it protects the, the book, I guess. And, uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Just say what's up. Wonder, you know, which one you, you like more. Um, and uh, thanks for hanging out, as always. Uh, you guys have a, a great week, weekend. I'm not sure when this is going to drop. But until next time, when it does, keep reading those comics.